How's it going, everyone? The PlayStation Store has kicked off its New Year's sale. Pretty good sale, all things considered. Uh, but obviously, if you picked up a lot of stuff during the holiday sale, I don't know how many of you are looking to pick more stuff up, but definitely some good uh, titles discounted. So we're going to highlight 10 games under the price of $10. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to ask you guys, please like this video and do leave a comment with your thoughts. It really does help out the channel a lot, and it is much appreciated. Let's just get right into it and kick things off with Detroit Become Human, which is 50% off for $9.99. This was done by the talented folks over at Quantic Dream. They also did Indigo Prophecy, Heavy Rain, and Beyond Two Souls. Detroit Become Human... I don't want to say it's their best game, um, because I played Heavy Rain when it came out, and I definitely enjoyed Heavy Rain in 2010 more than I enjoyed Detroit Become Human when it came out, but Detroit's a damn good game, and it tells the story of this futuristic world. It's incredibly compelling from a thematic standpoint, and it actually has you make some thought-provoking decisions. You know, with these games, I always recommend play one playthrough blind, and then if you want to go back and play through it again, fine, look up a guide, do the decisions that you're going to be happy with the choices or whatever but I always feel like uh, when you play these impactful decision-based games, doing it once blind is really the best way to play it, given that that's when your decision-making is going to have consequences. Because if you know what to expect, I mean, that's going to kind of take away a little bit from the game. But it's a very, very compelling game, engaging game from a narrative standpoint. Voice acting is really, really well done. So for $9.99, definitely a good buy. Quantic Dream has been MIA for a while now. I believe they're working on the Star Wars game, but... Yeah, that'll probably be out in, uh, like, 2028. So, yeah, they're gonna be, uh, MIA for a while as far as putting out a new game. Next up, we have Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition, 50% off for $9.99. Look, I imagine most of you guys at this point own this game, but for whatever reason, if you don't, I really enjoyed Horizon Zero Dawn, and from a narrative standpoint, I actually liked it better than Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, visually, it's not as good as Forbidden West, and, um, if they did actually do that remaster that people were rumbling about, like, a year, a year and a half ago, it would look better, but Zero Dawn already looks pretty damn good, even if it's not as good as Forbidden West visually. Um, the story, again, is really, really good. Gameplay is right up my alley. Like, I enjoyed it. I know some people aren't crazy about it. The Complete Edition obviously includes the Frozen Wilds expansion. A lot of content here as well for $9.99. I think it's a great buy, and 60 frames per second on PlayStation 5. It's not a full-on, like, PlayStation 5 upgrade or anything like that, but runs very, very well on the PS5. Next up, we have AI The Somnium Files. It's 80% off for $7.99. I am a sucker for for these Spike Chunsoft visual novel style games. Danganronpa was great. And hey, the Somnium Files is a fantastic game. Obviously, much like Detroit, but a totally different style of game than Detroit. That's not really a good comparison point to make outside of the fact they are very, very story heavy. Like, yeah, the Somnium Files is very much a story driven game. Fantastic main character in Kaname Date, a mystery investigation style game. There's definitely a little bit of comedy to it, but uh, overall, the story is incredibly compelling and engaging and a lot of mystery attacks to it as well. Art design and character design I thought was done really well and soundtrack is very good as well. For eight bucks, if you're into story-driven games, even if this is your first visual novel, like I'd say give it a shot because I think for this price point, it'll be uh, one that wins a lot of you guys over. Maybe not necessarily to get you into the VN genre, but for this one, I think uh, this is a good buy. Next up, we have Control Ultimate Edition, 75% off for $9.99. I often say it, I am not a big fan of Alan Wake 2, and in fact, Control is still my favorite Remedy game that they've put out, which most people will disagree with. Look, I understand most people love Alan Wake 2. The game just did not click with me. Like, Control clicked with me. I thought Control, from a gameplay standpoint, was very enjoyable. Visuals are great. Ultimate Edition includes the DLC. Story is a little bit all over the place. That's kind of like the Remedy thing. Like, some people find the Remedy narrative style, like, incredibly compelling and incredibly engrossing, and I can understand that for sure. And Control I thought was fine from a story standpoint, and it comes together by the end. But sometimes the Remedy games, um, not my favorite style of storytelling. Let's just put it that way so I don't insult myself too much. But uh, nonetheless, 75% off for $9.99 for Control, I think is a great price. And it runs great on the PS5 as well, so definitely a good pickup there. Next up, we have Dying Light Definitive Edition, 80% off for $9.99. Dying Light is one of the easiest recommendations to make whenever it goes on sale. Just a fantastic, fantastic open-world survival horror game. A little bit less on the horror aspects too. Like, it's not like a game that's gonna really instill fear in you or anything like that, but great gameplay. Combat is good. Parkour gameplay is awesome. Visuals are pretty great, and this was a game that was updated for seven years after release. Maybe even more than that, but a long time. Like, they were updating Dying Light 1 up to an 
Light, I think a little bit after the release of Dying Light 2. It was wild, and most people will agree Dying Light 1 is a better game than Dying Light 2. I enjoyed Dying Light 2 as well, but Dying Light 1, uh, definitely a solid game, and the Definitive Edition includes a ton of bonus content. Most importantly, it has the following, which is the major expansion. So that's quite good, and you're getting all that for $9.99. Really, a bargain of a deal. Next up, we have Borderlands Game of the Year Edition, 67% off for $9.89. This is Borderlands from 2009, upgraded for the PS4. Borderlands 1 is awesome, and I remember playing this game back in October of 09 when it initially came out, and I had a great time with it then. And It's a game that at this point, like every five or so years, I'll go back and I'll play through a Borderlands game. Uh, Borderlands 1 is fantastic. The narrative is obviously super comical, and the conclusion of the game left a lot to be desired but overall from the gameplay standpoint it's great and the comedy does click a lot of the times remember what i always say about borderlands great if you have a group of people to play with a group of four but if you want to play it solo you'll have a great time playing it solo as well i've completed every borderlands game solo and i had a pretty good time with all of them so 9.89 for the game of the year edition all the dlc content included as well pretty good pickup there next up we have ninja theories dmc devil may cry definitive edition 75 percent off for 9.99 this game was hated on quite a bit uh based on the fact that they uh, changed Dante's style. And if you compare this game to other Devil May Cry games, it's not really a DMC game. I mean, there's Dante in name, but... Um, really, you have to go into this game as its own standalone action title, and if you do that, you're probably going to end up having a pretty good time with it, because it's a well-done action game uh, with a lot of satisfying combat. The visuals at this point certainly do show their age, but it's still a fairly decent action game. If it was like $4.99, I would say slam dunk home run pickup here, but uh, at $9.99, I still think it's a pretty decent buy. Next up, we have Code Vein, 85% off for $8.99. If you like your Souls-like games and if you like anime, I mean, Code Vein is going to be right up your alley. It's got a pretty decent story. The action gameplay is quite good, and um, yeah, it's fairly challenging. It is relatively lengthy as well with a decent bit of content. I mean, as far as, you know, comparatively to a lot of other big JRPGs, maybe not that lengthy, but enough content for sure. Uh, I would imagine that at some point they're going to do a sequel for this game. It came out back in 2019, and from what I heard, it sold like 3 million copies at this point, which is a fairly successful number, but the team that did Code Vein, I believe, also did Scarlet Nexus, and, you know, pretty consistent as far as that's concerned, but yeah, $8.99 for that. Quite a good deal that is available on PlayStation Plus Extra. Next up, we have DJ Max Respect. This is 80% off for $9.99. As a music rhythm game, this game is awesome. It has a great soundtrack to boot, but as a music rhythm game, you also do know that this game has a ton of DLC content, and if you really want everything, oh yeah, get ready to pay an arm and a leg, because that's what you're gonna need to do. Um, I was down bad, and I have a DJ Max on Steam, and I did end up buying all the DLC, because I needed it that badly. But, uh, you know, with the base game, you do get a decent roster of songs to pick from, and a lot of the tracks are super, super unique, and uh, just just a really good time. If you're remotely into music rhythm games, if you want more of a chill game, DJ Max is exactly that, and for $9.99, I think it's a great pickup, and I'm gonna be singing the praises of DJ Max a lot, uh, just because this is a franchise that doesn't get a lot of love, and hopefully it still grows in terms of its fan base, because I think there's a lot to like here, and, um, you know, obviously it can be pretty challenging, especially at the harder difficulties, but if you play it at standard difficulty, you can just kick back, relax, enjoy the soundtrack, enjoy the presentation style, and I uh, have a pretty good time with that. And then lastly, Batman Arkham Collection, 90% off for $5.99. Again, much like Dying Light, I've mentioned this so many times, but for the two of you that don't have it at this point, hey, if two people pick it up, I did my job, and they got a phenomenal deal. Considering the Arkham Collection includes Batman Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight, this is highway robbery for this deal. Essentially $2 a pop. Uh, Arkham Asylum is great. Arkham City is my favorite of the three Arkham games. I just thought that was fantastic. And Arkham Knight is really good as well. Think what you want about the Batmobile sections, but Arkham Knight, for the most part, is still a really great game. Um, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City surprisingly still hold up really, really well. Like, Arkham Asylum came out... 15 years ago, well, almost 15 years ago, it's, I guess it's been 14 and a half years, it came out back in August of 2009, but yeah, long, long time, and uh, Arkham Asylum still has some incredibly satisfying gameplay, and Arkham City expanded the world a little bit, uh, made it more of an open world game, quite a bit of content, and then Arkham Knight, a uh, fairly good game in its own right as well, so recommend all three of those games, obviously, and you're getting them all for $6, just a fantastic deal, given the value uh, you're getting here with all three games, so definitely check that out, and hopefully Rocksteady does deliver with Suicide Squad, I am going to remain skeptical on that game, but uh, hopefully it turns out well and Rocksteady returns to form. I know Rocksteady these days is kind of different than Rocksteady of old, but 
I digress, it's been nine years since the release of Arkham Knight, and hopefully they follow that up with something relatively decent. But that is going to do it for me. Again, a lot of great deals available as a part of the New Year's sale. A ton of stuff under the price of $10. We could probably do another video of games under $10. There's a ton of stuff to mention. Um, you know, stuff like Resident Evil 2 is on sale that I mention all the time. But yeah, a lot of great deals. Links to everything, as always, will be in the description box down below. Expect our typical coverage over the next week or so. You know, under $5, under whatever, $3 if there's enough deals. We'll check it out, and I'll have a look at all the deals available in the coming days. But that'll do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, sound off there. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.